Ah, happy sunshine, family. We just passed midnight. Which means that I can change the date here. And we are now the 25th of September, 2017. And it is 0027 hours Pacific time. I got an interesting peek at the composite feed. And look at this rapid water vapor generation that's just erupting in New Mexico. That's headed right towards Kansas, Nebraska. Just more of this same types of storms that we've seen the past few days. It looks like there's some vapor generation that's off the Gulf Coast here and it's heading in a northwesterly direction. And this storm in the center of the country, it's moving in a north northeasterly direction. So at some point, something's got to give. Uh, there's some interesting wind and weather patterns going on, I'm sure. So let's head over and check out and see what the wind directions are doing. All right, here's windy. Oh, that's a little too far. Okay, here it's coming up. <laughs> okay, where is there a... Z here we go. We'll just zoom in click by click. I was using a scroll wheel on my mouse and that wasn't working too gracefully for me. Let's try one more zoom in. And we'll drag this down. As soon as we can grab it. Okay, so... Well, very interesting. Look at this, guys. So those storms were erupting in northeastern New Mexico. And they were headed up in a northeasterly direction. Look at this. We've got winds coming from the north meeting winds coming from the south. And they create this... Well, you can see this visual artifact right here where the winds are hitting each other. And this line stretches from right where the rapid water vapor generation is, is originating. And let's see, goes through the southeastern corner of Colorado, <clears throat> cuts through Kansas, uh, through the center of the border with Nebraska, right up through Omaha, uh, cuts right up through the center of the border of Iowa with Minnesota. Yeah, and now let's switch back to the composite feed. And now let's take a look. Here's our, our water vapor that's being blown in northeastern New Mexico. And it's coming up through Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, and right through the center of Iowa border with Minnesota. It's, ex <laughs> it's the same place, guys. Oh, 
There we go. Wow. So I'm not sure how this is accomplished, but we've got this cold air and this warm air that are just colliding right here and they add in extra moisture and the warm air that's carrying all the that can hold the moisture that's coming out of New Mexico gets cooled off I guess and that vapor condenses on whatever particulates are in the air and when that gets heavy enough it falls back to the ground as precipitation. That's my understanding in this now moment of how the weather works. All right, we've got some 51, 54 knots. Hmm, I didn't expect that to pop up. Oh, there's some sort of a weather station. A buoy. Oh, that must be the 33 knots that I was on. Okay. Well, interesting. Okay. So this is this is what it was over time. Oh, that's really interesting that you can get this information now. So it's been steadily increasing. So we're going to we'll watch what happens to buoy ID 41002 in the coming days. That's really interesting. Also interesting, uh, I wonder if this tunnel, this is literally a wind tunnel, guys, a tunnel that is made from opposing winds and it is directing all this moisture right up this way. I mean, we can tell that the moisture is artificially generated. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm sure that this hurricane here, if there is such a thing out there, um, all we have is satellite photos. We don't have any reflective radar of that. And we can pop over to Intellicast and see that there are no green spots around here or around Lee. In telecast is showing the same thing. We've got the moisture coming from New Mexico here and just headed right on up. And that's pretty much the same corridor that was lit up on that radar band. That's probably about four days ago now, I'm three, four days ago. I can't remember. All right, that's just a quick little 10-minute peek or not even. Look at the radar. If you have any email, any love lighter links for me, send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E, at protonmail.com. I really look forward to hearing from you guys, and uh, we're going to do another transcript video soon in the Hat J series and get through another chunk of that detention hearing. All right, peace out, guys. Bye-bye.